Good morning, everyone. Welcome you all. Please find a comfortable position. Make sure you have some tissues for pranayama. Today for the core practice, we are going to focus the pranayama sequence on nerve tissue. Maja Datu, sweet little name for nerve tissue. So as you find yourself in a comfort of your position, close your eyes and connect to your breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Connecting the breath to the navel. Bring awareness, your inner vision to your navel. And as you breathe in, expanding from the navel, expanding the belly, big Buddha belly. And exhaling out, softening, relaxing. And as you do so, breathing into the belly, bring awareness to your entire being seated. And on your next inhalation, lengthen the spine, soften through your shoulders, grow a little bit taller. Feeling the core muscles supporting you, holding you up. Relax through your neck and through your face, your jaw. Just breath awareness, bringing the breath to your heart and to your belly simultaneously. Breathing into that container of your upper body. And from here, finding softness through the upper body, we'll begin with Anuloma Valoma. Right, left balance, always beginning on the left and finishing on the left, harmonizing the flow of prana, life force energy to the body. So whenever you're ready, begin with 10 rounds. First set, Anuloma Valoma. Deep inhalation through the left, pausing, switching, exhaling through the right. Inhaling through the right. Pausing, switch, exhale through the left. And so on, keep going with your own pace. As you finish, whenever you finish, pause to be. Notice the lightness in your body, the sensation of lightness, of peace, serenity, harmony. Bringing balance to every single cell in the body. Cells that communicate And connecting the nabi navel marma navel for core and adipati which is the top of the head marma point to bring more sattvic energy to the body sattva balance meditative 
energy, calm, awareness, presence, relaxation, sattva is that shimmering golden light, peaceful, soft, bringing that energy into the body. Second set, Anuloma Valoma for 10 rounds, whenever you're ready. Nice and slow, soft, sattvic breath. Relax your jaw. Notice your chest expanding and softening. Muscles expanding, stretching and contracting, increasing capacity through the lung tissue. By deepening the breath, each inhalation long, soothing, expansive breath. Is there any tension you feel in the body? Breathe into the tension in your body. Soften through the area of pain. And exhale, coming to pause. Notice the space. Notice the presence, emptiness, lightness. No thoughts, no words, just energy, vibration through the body. Each cell of the body receiving that force, life force, energy to vibrate, to strengthen. Allowance to allow those cells to vibrate with life. Bringing that sattvic golden light to every cell as you meditate on pranayama. So sattva is balance, it is in between the rajas and the chaos and stress and emotions, negative emotions. And sattva is in between the tamasic energy of heaviness and darkness, of depression, heaviness, inertia. So we balance and bring that energy because without rajas and chaos and that vata movement energy, nothing would happen. We need that energy of movement to move, to move forward. 
even on cellular level within the body, movements in between cells, communication. And then bringing that energy of movement to balance by controlling the breath, by controlling the mind. Or coming out from that tamasic energy, stagnation energy, and in the body, it shows us excess weight. In the mind, it shows as no desire, no inspiration, depression, lack of light. So Bastrika moves that energy, the tamas, uh, heavy energy, clearing and healing Bastrika, uplifting energy to the body, to the mind. So we'll do two sets of 10. If you wish to do more, you can do more. Either seated with your arms folded, elbows wide open, or expanding, expressing, reaching for the light and coming in to coil in, bringing more movement to the body. Okay, so whatever you are, depending on your energy level, always listen to your body. They both work. <laughs> this one is more expressive than the other, bringing more heat to the body. So let's begin, 10, 15, wherever you are. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation, exaggerated inhale and exhale through the nose. Bellows breath. Coming to pause, coming to inhale, holding the breath for a moment to improve oxygenation. And coming to rest, to relax with focus on the belly, breathing to the bottom of your lungs, where majority of exchange oxygenation takes place. So if you can feel the expansion of the belly and expansion of the lower rib cage, your lungs, bring your hands to your belly, to your lower ribs, and breathe deeply into your hands. Breathing to the front side and to the back. Feeling the core muscles, feeling the navel stretching and expanding. And from here we come to second set of Bastrika. Releasing any stagnation moving the energy through the heart, 10 rounds.
meditating on this energy. And just shifting the energy within the body by just meditating on the energy on that space, that presence, that peace. Coming to Kapalabhati, Nabi, awareness, to Adipati, the top of the crown, the Precise point is right on the top where you place your palm right on your eyebrows and you measure your palm length, your fingers, middle finger length and the tip of the middle finger lands right on Adipati. This is the Marma point, the portal to connect to the Nabi. So as we practice Kapalabhati, let's focus on these two points, bumping from the navel to the top of the head. Again, clearing that channel of sattvic energy, communication, nervous tissue. So we'll do two sets of Kapalabhati, don't worry about counting. Take a deep breath into the belly, into the navel, expand and to exhale, draw the navel in. So there's a strong action of exercising the belly muscle, massaging the inner organs as the prana energy breath flows in and out passively. At any time, pause to reset your breath or pause to rest for a moment and then come back. Slow it down. Ten more. 
Last one, deep breath in. Big Buddha belly, pause, expand, stretch through the belly and exhale to relax. Lengthen the spine, sit tall. Deep breath into the heart. Exhaling through the mouth. Gentle sigh. Releasing any stagnation, any residue of stagnation. Coming back to the natural flow of your breath. And just pausing to rest. Bitter taste, pungent taste, and sour taste also pacifies kapha, the stagnation in the body, mucus breaking up the mucus, clearing the mucus from the body. Also helps to lose weight, these three tastes. Pungent, spicy, like cayenne pepper or jalapenos, anything spicy, heating gingers, sour lemon, Juice is also heating and sour. That helps to release mucus in the body and helps to decrease adipose tissue in the body as well as bitter, pacifying liver, keeping the liver strong. The second, Set of Kapalabhati, try to bring that awareness, your inner vision to the top of the head because the navel is already working, pumping and bringing that vision to the top of the head, relaxing your jaw. You focus to relax the jaw and inner vision, just gazing up slightly or even visualizing, uh, kind of imagining that you are with your vision right to the top of your head to bring more of that peace, activating pituitary gland, pineal gland to release the happy, happy hormones. So Kapalabhati, and you can pause as many times. We are aiming for 400 there. So <clears throat> pause at any time you need to Relax your jaw, relax your lower back.
slow it down. Ten more. Deep breath, big Buddha belly, lengthen the spine. Stretch through the navel, exhale to relax and pause, meditate. Drop the vision, relax through your eyes. Allow the belly to hang heavy, relax through your lower back. Skull shining, light of Tejas. Tejas, another name for light golden sattvic light balancing and harmonizing your energy channels So we're coming to Agni Sara for core practice. Also bringing more Tejas light to the body, mind. We'll do three sets of Agni Sara balancing prana, balancing all the doshas that live in the head. Pitta dosha, kapha dosha. Vata dosha that lives in the head, balancing Agni, Agni Sara. Even the name has Agni in it to balance every single cell, the cellular, cellular Agni, the light within the cell, what makes the cells thrive. Sireto. So whether you come to the edge of your chair, if you sit it on the chair, or maybe sit it on your bolster, or coming to stand, if your knees bother, you can come to stand and come into soft chair pose, bringing your palms into the hip creases, lengthen the spine, and from here, take a deep breath into the belly, exhale, empty completely, draw the navel in and up, creating that vacuum, Suction, no breath, relax and draw the belly in, relax, draw the belly in for as long as your breath allows you to and then breathe in when you're ready and come to relax. We pause in between three sets.
Just allow yourself to pause in between, allowing that energy to settle. Observing, gazing up to the top of the head. Second set. The core of nerve tissue is that meditation when you pause gazing up to the top of the head. Strong nerves, strong nerve tissue, strong core. The core of the body is the spinal cord, the nerve tissue within the spinal cord. One last set, Agni Sara. Deep breath into the throat, into the heart, into the belly. Agni Sara also balances thyroid gland. Softening through the throat as you meditate, gaze up. Gazing up, breathing into the heart space and the navel simultaneously. Notice your heart lifting, notice your shoulders relaxing. Feeling the core muscles expanding and contracting. From here, drop the vision, relax your eyes, relax your body, seven rounds of Ujjayi, uplifting energy. So resonating the sound, victory breath, inhaling in. And exhaling out through the left. <clears throat> inhaling through the nose, high pitch sound. Resonating from the throat, that's now into empty. In one pace.
We're going to focus the awareness on the breath throughout today's practice. So anytime you space out and find yourself outside the body, outside the yoga mat, outside this practice, come back to the breath. So slowly coming to stand. Have a sip of water. Coming to stand on your mat, feet hit distance apart. And shift the weight side to side. Bring your hands to your waist. We're going to gently shift the pelvis side to side. And then from here, bend your knees, shifting the pelvis side to side, very gently sitting back, bringing energy to the legs. Take a deep breath in and lengthen the spine, draw the navel slightly in, hug your sit bones, feel your sit bones, as you sit back side to side, lift your pelvic floor and lengthen through the lumbar spine. So lean forward. Try not to cross your toes with your knees. It's more of sitting back, leaning forward, creating the space through the lumbar spine. And from here, coming to stand. Feet hip distance apart. We're going to circle the pelvis. Very nice and soft. You can lift your heels, bring that energy to your ankles, to your feet, to your toes. And always use your chair for balance. Whenever you need to, you can stand behind the chair or beside the chair for the hip circles and reverse. And coming into center, we're going to step wide. And as we softly sit back, we're going to gently rotate the torso. So coming to rotate from the belly and reach to the side. So exhale and reaching. Softly sit back, strong legs, strong lower body, and just reach. One more on each side. Coming to stand tall, toe keep your feet in, legs together. Now hugging in, hugging your sit bones, pelvic floor, hugging your pelvis, legs. Inhale your arms up, look down through your feet, connect through your toe bones, pressing down, bring your hands above the head, interlace your fingers. Index fingers out, breathe into the entire being. And as you exhale, gently draw the ribs in. Focus on lengthening the spine. Through the lumbar spine, thoracic spine, cervical spine. And exhaling, hugging through the corset, all muscles. And gently draw your ribs in. On your legs, exhale, release your arms and bring your left hand to the waist, scooping your ribs up. And inhale the right arm back up, coming into half moon pose. As you inhale, lengthen and then exhale, C shifting the spine. We're going to pause here and breathe into the right side of the body. See if you could breathe into your armpit, breathe into the lower ribs, 
front and back. Each inhalation, lengthen and grow taller. Exhaling, softening, side bending. One more breath. And the next inhale, keeping all that length, reaching higher, coming to stand. And exhale, release your arm. Come to Tadasana, pause. Notice the right side, notice the left side. Align shoulders with your hips. Shift your weight forward and back. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine and activate through the core. Inhale both arms up, interlace your fingers, index fingers out. Take a deep breath in, root down through your heels, deeply root down through your heels, feel your feet as if you could push the earth away from your body. Stand tall, breathe into the Crown, top of the head, reaching up, feeling your core, bringing to the lower back, keeping the length in the spine, breathing into the sides, and the front. Exhaling through the lower ribs, hugging your lower ribs in, but keeping the length through the spine and sides. Next exhalation, release your arms. Bring the right hand to the side of your rib cage, scoop up as if you could lift your ribs and then inhale, left arm comes up. Deep breath in, micro bend your knees here, hug your legs even more. And then exhale very gently, side bending. You can extend through your legs. It's just to release of the energy through the lower body. And from here, we're gently pulsing, giving all that length and creating all that length through the spine. Hold the pelvic floor. One more breath, full breath on the next inhale, reach and lengthen, stretch, stand tall, exhale, slowly release your arm, turning your palm down, stretching as much tissue as you can. We're going to inhale both arms up and come to gentle back bend, exhaling. As we come to back bend, you're still hugging pelvic floor and sit bones. You can micro bend your knees and hips and really hugging through the lower abdominal muscles. From here, activating, pressing the pelvis forward, scoop, pubic bone to navel, create that length through the lumbar spine, reach. We're not going far, less is more. I always love to apply Less is more. Activating through the core, feel the core. You should feel it on the sides. As you come to the back bend, lift your heart and even scoop even more. Even if it means you have to bend your knees even more. Feeling those muscles activating, bringing all the awareness to the entire corset. And then inhale and coming into center. Exhale, release your arms. We're going to come to face the chair and position the chair so it's facing the center of the mat. The seat is facing you, standing tall, feet together. Move down through your feet, shift the weight forward to your toes. And from here, inhaling, arms come up. And just using this breath to lengthen the body, hands together. Exhale, release your arms. Release and core is active. Pelvic floor is lifted, navels in, creating length through the lower back. So pubic bone to navel again, inhaling up. 
Stretching, lifting the shoulders, lifting the armpits, and then exhale, release. Inhaling up. Hands together, exhale, gentle back bend. Activate pubic bone to navel, hugging through the abdominal muscles, open the heart. Inhaling, center. Exhale, release. As you come to stand tall in mountain pose, relax through the body, notice the length through your spine. And again, inhaling up, growing tall, feet are heavy, pressing the earth away. Exhale, back bend. Inhaling, center and exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, bend your hips, hands to the heart. Binding your chair. Toe heel feet, hip distance apart. Shift the weight forward and back and keep the alignment through the spine. Lift your sit bones, bring your lumbar spine to neutral. Just shifting the weight, extending through the knees, stretching through the back of your legs, warming up your feet, roll into your toes, lift your heels, lower your heels, draw the navel in as you press back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Feel your lower ribs. And then from here, coming into center. So positioning shoulders over the heads first and then walking in, hips over the ankles, any amount that feels comfortable for you. We're coming into cat and cow. Inhale and drop the belly. Navel in, big Buddha belly, and then exhale, coil in gently. Gently coiling in, focusing on navel to the spine, and then again, gazing forward. You can bring movement to the cervical spine, nice and soft, gentle. One more breath. Come into center, bend your knees, shift your weight back, and from here, inhale, come to rise, arms over the head, and exhale, release your arms. Coming to stand, feet hip distance apart, and inhaling the arms up. So we're doing a little bit of a namaskar flow, sun salutation. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Find your chair. And from here, slightly walking away to stretch through the side of the body. So as we walk away, shift your pelvis back and coming to almost downward facing dog on the chair. So align your ears with your arms. And from here, we're going to gently shift the pelvis side to side. So we take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine, lift your sit bones, activate through your pelvic floor, and then exhale, draw the right hip to the right shoulder, inhale, center, exhale, draw the left hip to the left shoulder, and center, feeling that deep stretch. Through the lower back, through the right side, buttocks and hip. Through the obliques. One more on each side. And from here, inhale, look forward, shift the weight forward, coming to step the right leg forward, left leg back, and stay in high lunge. Your left heel is up. We're coming to down through the feet, strong feet, activate through the hips and inhale, bring your arms up, align your arms along your ears. So noticing that straight line, the left arm aligning with the ear as much as you can, shoulders align with the hip, hip with the ankle. Deep breath in, growing tall, lengthening, breathing into the core.
One more breath. Exhale and release the arms and step the right leg back. Coming into plank for core. Feet together. Shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower your pelvis. Activate through the abdominal wall. Hugging those muscles in. Gently pressing your legs in. Pressing your hands into the chair. Pushing the chair away from you. Beautiful. And from here, shift the weight back and step the left leg forward. Keeping your right heel up and inhale, rise up. Rising up, arms aligning, but still having that long line, reaching up. Core is active. Exhale, lower into the left hip, hugging the sit bones, hugging your pelvic floor. Breathe into the spine as if you could lengthen through the spine in this position. And exhale, bring your hands down. Step your right leg forward, walk it off. Staying in table. Draw your knees up, opposite knee to elbow. And from here, coming to sit on the chair, we're going to activate transverse abdominus. So if you have a block, grab your block. If not, tissue box, or we'll pretend that we have a block. Bring your feet together, sit tall, find the 90-90 angles. And from here, inhale, your block up. So if you don't have a block, just bring your arms up and maybe even hold on to your elbows or wherever you are. We're just simply sitting tall, activating through the core. We're going to inhale, right knee up and lower. Inhale, left knee up and lower, isolating the lower body from the upper body. Feel the transverse abdominus muscle going from hip to hip. One more on each side. Exhale, bring the block in between your legs, gently hugging your, leg, your legs together, pressing your legs into the block. Come to inhale, arms come up. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms up, stretch through the belly. Exhaling, gently lifting your heart up to stretch through the navel, gentle back bend. Tilt your pelvis forward, lift your pelvic floor, hug your shoulder blades. Stretch through the belly, scoop your big bone to needle, lengthen through the lower back. And then inhale, come into center, exhale, release, palms facing up, pause. And from here, again, walk into the hands, legs together, inhale, walk up, and relax your shoulders. And from here, activating through the core, inhale, right knee up and lower, and left knee and lower.
Feel your core. Keep the length through the core. One more on each side. And release the block. Draw the left knee up and cross, coming to see the twist. Focusing on the lower ribs and focusing on lengthening the spine. So inhale your right arm up, twist from the belly, exhale, release the arm. You can exhale to the mouth, inhaling gently, twisting, coming into center, exhale, bringing out, like bringing a wet towel, focusing on the lower ribs, front, side, and back. Focusing on the muscles, focusing on your obliques, Notice that activation, notice the sides, notice the difference between the right side and the left side. One more breath. Inhaling, coming into center, release your legs, shake it up, legs together, knees over your ankles, block in the hands for the last round. Inhaling up, now we're initiating from the left side, so inhale, left knee up and lower, right and lower for 10. Be very mindful of your breath. Feeling the muscles of your core. And one more on each side. And release your block. Right knee on top of the left. Sit tall, inhale your left arm up. Lengthen through the spine, hug your pelvic floor, exhale, twist. And from here, expansive breath into the lower ribcage. Expanding and stretching and exhaling, contracting. One more breath. From here, coming to release and coming to stand. And again, standing in front of the chair. Keep the distance apart. Put it down through your toes. Shift the weight forward and back. Find your center. As you find your center in alignment, inhale your arms up. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, gentle back bend. Now stretching through the belly, pause in the back bend. Find the softness through the spine. Breathing deep into the lower ribs and then exhaling, draw the lower ribs in. On your next inhalation, come to center and exhale, forward fold. Folding from the hips, lengthen through the spine, lower your heart, find your chair. Shift the weight forward and back. 
Now coming to standing table and without articulating the spine, drop the belly as you inhale, big Buddha belly, and then exhale, draw the muscles into the spine without moving the spine. Squeeze and hug. And again, deep breath in and exhale out. Feel your pelvic floor, all the sphincters, all the muscles of the pelvic floor. One more. We're going to shift the weight to the right, draw the left knee in, extend through the left side of your body, drop the pelvis down, use your core, extend through the right arm. Keep reaching and stretching from the navel, navel being the center of the core, stretching through the spine, and stretching from the left hip to the right, Shoulder, stretching from the right shoulder to the fingertips, lengthen through the cervical spine, soften the shoulders, and then exhale, lower down. Shift the weight forward and back, bend your knees, lift your heels. And using the momentum, come to stand. Pause in mountain pose, toe heel your feet to hip distance apart. Feel your core as you stand tall. Feel the lightness through the back, through the front, through the sides. And when you inhale, arms come up, hands together, exhale, gentle back. Bend. Inhale, center. And exhale, forward fold. We're going to walk the legs away to find length through the upper body and stretch coming to sort of downward dog here. See if you can align your ears with the arms, lengthening through the crown. Exhale, soften through your heart and release through the lower back. Deep breath into the belly, big Buddha belly. And practicing that diaphragmatic breathing, you can bend your knees softly and lift your sit bones. So bending the knees, but lengthening through the hamstrings, activating the hamstrings at the same time. Practicing that Buddha belly. Deep inhale into the navel, stretching, expanding, and without moving the spine, draw the navel in. Releasing any tension from the lower back, from the sacrum, pelvis. Moving the cerebral spinal fluid, moving that energy from the base of the spine to the top of the head. And then slowly inhale and look forward. Shift the weight forward and come into plank. Your wrist bother, you may come to fists. Deep breath, keep lengthening. Now hugging your core, hugging through your abdominal wall, navel. And then from here, shifting back and coming to stand in table. Shifting the weight to the left, draw the right knee in and extend through the right leg. And then lower the right hip, lengthen, draw your toes in and inhale your left arm 
aligning your ear with your arm, neck in neutral. Your new core, hugging your core, hugging the lower ribs in, breathing it from the navel and stretching from the navel, navel to the right hip, from the right hip to the heel, reaching up behind you and reaching from the navel to the left shoulder, the shoulder through the arm, fingertips, draw that energy, reach forward. And exhale, lower your arm, lower your leg. Walk it off side to side, bend your knees. Beautiful, bring your feet together. We're coming to Utkatasana, sitting back, belly to thighs, using that chair for support. You can maybe bring your forearms down, holding on to the chair, lengthen through the spine. Big Buddha belly, breathing into the belly. Release intention from the back, from the side joints. And expanding the space through the abdominal cavity. Massaging the internal organs. And from here, we're coming to exhale and to sit on the mat. We don't need the chair, so moving the chair away. And have a sip of water. We're coming to lie on the back. with feet to the edges of the mat for windshield wipers. Stretch your arms over the head and look down through the shoulders and shoulder blades, palms are facing up. And from here, I want you to draw the knees into the right side and pause. Take a deep breath into the left side. Beautiful. And next inhalation, using your core, shift the legs to center, and then exhale to the left. Deep breath in to the right side. Breathe and expand to the right side, your ribcage, your core, your head. One more breath, and on your next exhalation, slowly roll onto the left side, coming into side plank, extending through the left leg, down through the left leg, and you can bring the right foot in front of the left leg, coming to rise and support on the left forearm. So, Easier is to step the right leg forward and then using your hands, lift your hips, making sure that your elbow is in front of your shoulder. So when you come to lift, you align your shoulder with your elbow, opening up or legs together. So this is more advanced, heavier harder to lift the pelvis with the legs stacked one on top of another. So coming in, a few breaths. And from here, we're going to come to lie on the belly. 
So when you cut it up, you can come to lie on your belly, belly with your hands folded underneath your forehead. So as you exhale, lower down, roll onto your belly. And then hands using as a pillow for your forehead. We're going to shift the weight to down to your pelvis. And from here, we're going to lift the right leg up. Keep lengthening. And just holding the leg up. Pointing your toes. Very gently pulsing with your leg up and down, up and down, up and down. Exhale, relax and switch. Inhale, left leg up. Lengthen from the hip, reach behind you. Activate your all the muscles. And then from here, very gently begin to pulse. And then exhaling down. Open your arms wide to the side, palms facing down, and inhale, lift your shoulders, lift your arms. Look down through the big toes of your feet, look down through the pelvis. Open through the heart, inhaling forward, coming through your core. And exhale, lower, bring your hands in front, use them as a pillow. Take a deep breath in, bend your knees, and from here, windshield wipers, side to side, nice and slow. We're working on stability of the pelvis, strengthening lumbar spine, extending your legs again, legs together, bring your legs together, keep your forehead down on your hands, and from here, inhale, lift both of your legs up and your mouth. Go down through the pubic bone, draw the navel in, hug your core. Deep breath into your lower back. One more breath. And then exhale, lower down. Pause. Bend your knees and from here, very gently, windshield wipers side to side. I'm coming into center. Now we're going to lengthen by extending the legs, extending the arms forward. So extend your arms forward. If this is too much, then come to stand tall, tented fingers. Extending tall the tips of your fingers, lifting your legs, lifting your arms. Steady breath. Exhale, lower and roll onto the right side of your body for side plank on the right side. When you're ready, inhale and lift into the side plank, holding. 
soft breath. Be with your breath. Exhaling, lowering down, coming to lie on the back. And from here, draw your knees into your chest. Go down through your sacrum, heavy sacrum, lumbar spine is neutral, and use the core muscles to hold lumbar spine in neutral, and then draw your knees into the chest. Core away as you exhale, rounding your spine. Connecting through your spine and very gently rock side to side. It's only like two inches side to side. And then come to center, extend the arms along the body. Extend your legs, point and flex through your ankles, through your toes. Stretch your arm. And from here, we're going to shift the legs forward and back. Very small amount, just extending through the legs. Draw your toes in towards the head and draw your legs in and out. Coming into center, draw your chin into your chest and root down through the back of your head, root down through your arms. And from here, leading with the heels, we're going to lift the pelvis. So really engaging the core muscles. Inhale and lift and lower. Inhale and lifting. Turn to chest. Three more. Beautiful. Open the right arm to the side, bend the right knee, extend the left leg and roll it down, coming into a twist. So left hand comes to the right knee. Exhale, draw the leg into the left side and look to the right side, anchor through the right shoulder. Take a deep breath in. From here, we're going to roll onto the left side and you're going to open your left arm now out, palms facing down. And from here, you're going to grab your top ankle with your top hand to stretch the psoas. So coming into the side and draw the knee in to align the knees together. Use the left arm to support yourself, even if you need to extend it over the head, wherever you are. Rolling out the mat. Just stretching the psoas. And from here, coming back, lying on the back, arms along the body, palms facing down, extending through the legs, draw your chin to chest, and again for 10. Lifting, leading with your heels, activating through the core, inhaling, lift, and lower. Beautiful, lower the right leg, bend the left leg, 
and come to roll onto the right side, extend the left arm, gaze towards the left. Deep breath in. Exhale onto the right side, extend the right arm somewhere so the heel supported, and then grab your left ankle. Open up, lower your knee down to stretch. Deep into the hip, deep into the psoas, draw your pelvis forward. And exhaling back, extending the arms through the body, lift your legs up. One more set, 10 lifts. Whenever you're ready, inhale, lift, nice and slow, as much as you can, controlling, activating, and strengthening to the lowest fibers of your rectus abdominis. And from here, we're going to pause, draw your toes in. And when you're ready, exhale, lower your legs halfway and pause. Take a deep breath in and out. And again, exhale and lower halfway and pause. Draw your toes in, lengthen through the back of your legs and exhale, pause. Scoop your big bone to navel and hug your sit bones, hug your pelvis, hug your legs. And again, exhaling to hover. And exhale all the way down. Turn your palms up, open your arms to the side. Take a deep inhale in, exhale through the mouth. Meditating on your breath. So when you're ready, just begin to move your fingers and your ankles. And draw your knees into your chest. And then slowly make your way to the left side. Connecting to all the senses, connecting to your breath, connecting to that sattva energy of golden light within the body, within every single cell, circulating from the heart. And then slowly coming to sit in a comfortable position. Just taking a deep breath into the heart, gently bowing the head to the heart. Tapping into the gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this body. Thank you for this breath. Thank you for this morning. Thank you to all of you for showing up, sharing your beautiful energy. 
And I wish this practice serves you well. Have an amazing day. Namaste.